Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, The Classic Beauty Goddess. If you're new here, hello, my name is Megan. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. I am sharing part two of my eyeshadow palette collection. So if you're interested, let's get started. If you did not see part one, I recommend that you go see that because it includes all of my larger eyeshadow palettes. And as I state in that video, I did not realize how many eyeshadow palettes I actually have. Now, my larger palettes are down here, um, which you can usually see in my videos, but my smaller eyeshadow palettes and quad palettes, I do keep in a separate area, and I think maybe that's why I didn't realize how many I actually own. So today we're going through the smaller ones, and these would be anything, I believe, with seven pans or less, and I actually think there's six pans or less. So I am going to start with the larger ones first. Um, the first one is the Juvia's Place, The Violets by Juvia's. This is a purple palette, as you might have guessed. I do love purple if you're not aware. And I do use this palette, um, you know, every once in a while. I probably don't use it a lot because um, some of the shades are very vibrant and I don't do that a lot, especially for work. Um, but they are very pretty. Um, there's only two matte shades. There's this lighter violet shade and then there's this very dark, um, very deep purple shade, which is great for an eyeliner. And all of these shimmer shades are very beautiful and they all work well together. So it's just a nice little palette and it's not very expensive either. So that is really nice. The next palette I have is by Wayne Goss. This is the Luxury Eye Palette in Smoky Quartz. The shades do not have names either, but they do, they are numbered. Um, and this is just in my opinion, a very beautiful neutral palette, but it's also got a little bit more of a, um, it's definitely great for if you're trying to do a smoky look. I also love that the shimmer is not overpowering, it's not glittery, it's not chunky. Anyone can wear this shimmer shade, and that was one of the reasons I believe that Wayne Goss made these palettes is they are meant for anyone of any age group to be able to use. They are all matte shades except for that shimmer, so you can definitely stick with your matte shades. You can add the shimmer as a topper if you'd like, which I typically do just because I like a little shimmer. And I just think it's beautiful. I also love the larger pan sizes, so it's easier to get your brushes in there to get the color. So that, um, is just a great palette. I think I got this from my mom. The next palette is one of my favorites. It is Dior. This is the 479 by a Deer palette. I think I got this one or two years ago. I think it's two years now. I have the worst sense of time. But this is a beautiful summer palette. It's definitely neutral, but it does have this beautiful pink champagne color up here. It has, I'm sorry, peach champagne. It's definitely a peachy shade. Um, it has this um, like a white gold kind of, you know, a lighter gold. It has the more yellowy gold, this beautiful um, kind of brick red color, and then this nice tan brown. It's just gorgeous. I love this palette. I actually kind of forgot I had it, so I just recently put this in my bathroom to start using for the next couple of weeks because I think I stated this in my first video. I do try to swap out my palettes um, every month at least so that I'm using something different so that I do use what's in my collection. The next three palettes I have are all by Tom Ford. They're all quads. Um, I purchased two of these myself from the cosmetics company 
at different times. I think it might have been the same time because I feel like these were on a pretty good sale. Otherwise, I don't think I would have gotten them. Um, this is the 01 Badass <laughs> eyeshadow palette. Um, I really bought it because of that plum shade. These are all shimmer, believe it or not. The champagne is a nice color and the charcoal and the black are um, nice too. They're good liners. Um, I don't love this palette on. I feel like every time I use it, unless I'm using one shade by itself, I feel like they all kind of blend together and it kind of becomes a mess. So I actually haven't used this palette in a while. Um, it's just not my favorite. There are much better formulas than some of his other palettes. Um, this is the 26 Leopard Sun. And this is definitely a beautiful summer palette with that yellow. And this is um, kind of a, a light burnt orange. It's probably got a little bit more pink to it. Um, so maybe like a dark salmon. But this is really pretty, and I think this would be pretty for fall, too. I love, I don't know why, but I love sunset color palettes. I just think that sunset, sunrise, they just look so pretty on your eyes, especially when you have darker hair. And that's kind of like with the Dior as well. And so I just like creating that look with these palettes. Um, I haven't used this one in a while, so that's probably going to go in my bathroom next. And this is the 36 Tiger Eye. My mom gave me this for my birthday. Um, I think it was my birthday last year. I guess it might have been Christmas two years ago. This is my favorite Tom Ford palette. Um, it's very beautiful, very neutral. Um, I think the brown is a satin finish and the rest are shimmers. I absolutely love this. The colors in this are gorgeous. This is a great everyday palette. You can definitely do a smoky eye with this with that beautiful brown shade. Um, I've actually used this a lot more. You can kind of see the, the denting in the pans. Um, but this is definitely my favorite one and I look forward to using this one again. And last but not least, we have Chantecaille. I have four Chantecai quads and I have not purchased any since, but um, I do love them and I try not to buy too many because they are very expensive and you just don't get as much in the pan as you do some of the other palettes. So the first one I have is the Butterfly Eye Quartet. This is no longer available, um, so I'm going to try and go through this real quick. Um, it has a beautiful, two beautiful kind of sandy, taupey shades. There's this beautiful um, pinky peach, and then this green shimmer is actually, it shifts. It has a pink shift to it, so I don't know if that's a duochrome or if it's just um, considered a shift. I'm not sure, but that's beautiful. One of the things I love about Chantecaille is that all of their collections are very highly curated. There's only a few products within each collection and every collection gives back to um, some sort of philanthropy. Um, it, it's all philanthropy. It all goes back to some sort of wildlife cause. So um, the butterfly ones went to um, the Xerces Society, which helps with all pollinators. Um, the next one I have is the Giraffe Palette that came out a couple years ago. Um, so this, uh, you know, proceeds from these sales went to um, the giraffe population and, and helping them. Um, it just has a lot of pretty brown shades and then that gorgeous white shimmer. Um, you can use that with anything. Um, I actually used this one a decent amount. And I think I just had this one um, in my bathroom not too long ago. And then these two actually came out around the same time in the fall a couple of years ago. The first one is the Cougar Eye Quartet. This is a beautiful neutral palette that you can use anytime. It is great for fall, but if you just love neutrals, 
Um, they're very pretty. These two shades, I believe, are matte, and the other two, um, actually, no, that is, these three are matte, and that is the only shimmer. So they are also beautiful, and you could probably interchange them with the giraffe palette as well. And then I have the Black Jaguar. This I bought just because of how different it is. It has this beautiful, stunning blue shimmer. It also has a white shade, but believe it or not, this is totally different than the one in the giraffe. And then you have that matte black, which is a beautiful liner shade. But this is just beautiful. I absolutely love it. I don't use this very much, um, but I do hope to use it a little bit more and get more comfortable with that blue. I like using the blue as more of a liner on my um, eyelid, but um, I have seen it all over the lid and it's stunning. So those are definitely beautiful, beautiful palettes. And then I cannot believe this because I just used this palette in a few videos ago, but I forgot to mention this in my last video. This is my largest eyeshadow palette. This is the Morphe 35L Ultra Lavender Artistry Palette. My stepson got me this for Christmas, I think it was, and um, I've used it a couple of times. There are a ton of shades. Um, they even have the little cover for it that gives you some tips and tricks on how to use the palette. But this thing is massive. <laughs> Um, it does have some gorgeous, gorgeous purple shades. You can even see some of the lighter shimmers and mattes up here that have a purple hue to them. And then there's also a wide variety of neutral browns, which I thought was fantastic. So this is definitely a wearable palette. You can wear this every day. You can create a smoky eye look with it. Um, there's just so much and there's a nice variety of mattes and shimmers so it's not just one or the other these are definitely some of your deeper shades down here they are um, these four are all matte and these two over here are that one is a shimmer a darker shimmer but I just think that this palette is beautiful I absolutely love it and I look forward to creating some more looks with it so be on the lookout because you're probably going to see them um, but these were um, my smaller palettes, minus that one, because I forgot it. Um, and, you know, it's just fun playing with color and different shades. And you can tell I do love my purple and I do love my neutrals. But um, in my larger palettes, I do have some other colors. So you are going to see me try blues. You're going to see me work with yellow and gold. You're going to see me work with some green. Um, I did already have that suggestion um, given to me. So if there's an eyeshadow palette that you want to see me use in a dedicated video, if there is a color story or if there is something in particular um, eyeshadow wise that you'd like me to see, if you want me to do palette bingo and tell me how many shades you want me to use, I can certainly do that with this palette or maybe with the larger palettes. So there's definitely a lot that we can do. There's a lot that I have coming for you in the next couple of months. I'm really looking forward to spring and summer. Um, it definitely gets a little warm. I'm hoping that the, the super warm weather holds off just a little bit. I think we're gonna have another cool down here soon, but um, I am super excited about these. So you guys, wherever you are, please have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I've had a lot of fun sharing this collection and we might do some more collections in the future. So please take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you next time. Bye.